Good evening. My name is Mondo Homunculero. Tonight's little essay has to do with the rampant foolishness I see in our species, and I'm going to call this our species with a note of disdain. And while it would be my intention to love all humanity, because of circumstances I do not find myself as doing such. However, those I choose to love, I love well. Some, in spite of the circumstances they've placed themselves in. Now, I still see immature people having children. And I understand why people would want to have children. It's all biological. This world is really not a suitable place to bring up and raise a child. Particularly if the parents have below teenage emotional intelligence. Now, I've seen that recently. As a matter of fact, once again, I've seen that old scenario where a young woman gets pregnant and then traps herself a meal ticket. only to show the glorification of her being enamored with having a child and gaining attention for it. It's disgusting. I saw the same person then turn on this Christianity bullshit. And, I, you know, I make no apology. Christianity is bullshit. It's a lie. It's a myth. It's a fable. It's not true. It's not real. Jesus never existed. There is no actual proof, historical or otherwise, directly in his time of his existence. And you can research this and research this, and you're going to find the same thing. He never existed. Now, any person who would believe in that ridiculous myth certainly has no credibility in my view. Inasmuch as believing in ghosts, inasmuch as believing in other paranormal nonsense, superstitious, supernatural nonsense. I mean, I can contrive my own mythological paradigm and set intentions with it and get better results than this bullshit. Now, what is the value of divination? Probably in a sense of short-term futures to predict what one could avoid and what one could enhance to obtain some favorable results. Now this I say to you, my foolish one, the one who hath chosen, yeah, my nose itches when I talk about that, the one who has chosen his destiny at too early an age, without having a stable emotional state, without having a stable financial state, engaged with a woman who really doesn't love herself very much and certainly doesn't love you. Now you'll be saddled up with a child and you can't even parent yourself. I'd tell you to piss off, but that gives it too much power. So as it stands, I don't wish you anything. I don't wish you good luck. I don't wish you bad luck. I just simply give you my indifference, as passionate as I sound against your chosen folly. Now, back to the Christianity. <clears throat> the time has come to push for a different view. The time has come to before 
the debunking of this bullshit mythology. So to all you Christian shitheads, I say, you're not worth a good piss off either, to me. However, at every turn, let us debunk, let us extol our skepticism in favor of a more positive view of humanity. A view of humanity which extols the virtues of the species, few as they may seem, with some of those principles that uh, those who founded the intent behind this Christianity came from. Now, if we dig into history, we find that Christianity was not created to save the human race. It was created to empower the Romans to enslave their peoples even further by creating a universal religion. Yes, that's right. It's all bullshit. Now, Have a great night. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I love you. I accept you completely for who you are. You're a great human being, despite of all the idealism that would discount you otherwise. You have worth, you have value, and in loving yourself, you can give that love to others. Good night.